Which dictionary defines life science as one of the types of science that deal with the structure and behavior of living things? Biology is defined as the scientific study of the natural processes of living things. Now, in order to learn the natural process of living things, one would need to know their structure and behavior. So, is life science a subset of biology, or is biology a subset of life science? To answer the questions. Maybe we should go back to the origin of when these terms were coined. The science of objects or processes that are observable in nature is called natural science. Physics is one type of natural science that deals with matter, energy, motion, and force. Chemistry is the other field of natural science that deals with the composition and properties of substances and various elementary forms of matter. Together, they are called physical science that deals with inanimate matter and with energy. The science of life or living matter came about later. It came from the German word biology, which is a combination of bio, which means life, and logi, which means body of knowledge. Whoops! Let's rewind a little. We must not forget our friend the social science. It is a science that deals with an aspect of society, or forms of social activities, for example, history, geography, and economics. The term life science came about much later in the 1940s. So why is there a need to coin a new term? What is the difference between biology and life science? Just like biology, life science is the study of living organisms, from microorganisms to fungi, plants. Animals and humans. Biology remains the core and foundation of life sciences. Life sciences is more interdisciplinary. Fields such as molecular biology and biotechnology are formed with technological advances. Interactions occur within a single cell, at the organ level, and also the entire organism. Genetic information or environmental influences affect the functions of these interactions. Research in life sciences seeks to explain these correlations and study the changes that lead to disruption of the functions of individual components or entire networks. Hence, life sciences have applications in health, medicine, pharmaceutical, and food sciences industries. This change in economical development and research presented new challenges in the field of bioethics and a greater Social responsibility among stakeholders. Singapore came pretty late in the game of life sciences research and development. In the year 2000, there is a push by the Singapore government to make life sciences industry an important part of our industrial landscape, alongside the electronics, chemicals, and engineering industries. The life science thrust started with a change in the education policy. Overnight. Biology in school became the science to study that will open up doors and possibly land you an exciting job. All students were exposed to life sciences in the health education and general science syllabuses in primary and lower secondary levels. Both the dwindling biology class size and job opportunities for biology graduates increased by multiple folds. Biology teachers. Who once faced extinction like the dinosaurs were saved from the brink of extinction as schools needed more of them. The traditional biology that focuses on the study of specific type of life, for example zoology, the study of animals, and botany, the study of plants, gave way to new topics such as food, industrial biotechnology, and genetic engineering. The life sciences wave brought mathematics, physics. Chemistry, IT, and engineering together with biology. Life sciences will play an important role in addressing the challenges of the 21st century. For example, many new approaches and technologies are required in the research into common diseases, individualized medicine, or sustainable agriculture production and alternative fuels.